Welcome to Marketchecture, where you can get smart fast with in-depth interviews of leading technology vendors. I'm here with Jacob of Mobile, and we're going to talk a little bit about his company. Jacob, how are you doing today? I'm doing all good, thank you. It's, you know, the usual darkness in Helsinki is, and the slush is setting on the ground, but, but everything is everything's good. Tell me a little bit more about what your listing management product does. How does it work exactly, and what benefit can the, uh, can the customer expect to get immediately over the long term? Can you dig into that for us a little bit? Really good question. So again, like looking at the core customer value that we provide. So is that you save time by managing the listings really good, like different automations, small practical examples like review suggestions where you actually should answer uh, your clients when they when they're in touch with you post bulk updating. That's one really good feature as well. And other similar features that you can do. And, and actually that saves time for a company. And then in addition to that, especially uh, in Google business profiles, if you do things right, it will give you organic reach. So again, the local SEO play is very, very key as well. And and it's not just, I mean, saving time, the organic visibility, but then as well, it's an ever-changing ecosystem, like the business listing. And, and we argue that it's really, really early days for them. So again, like we're as well educating our clients there. And, and one example is having our, our community with the customers uh, where everyone can participate and ask different questions. Well, let me dive in a little bit to this business listing. So we're talking about basic business information. So location, name of the business. Uh, what, what else are we talking about? Hours, menus, prices. Do you bleed over into product listings where you actually have the inventory? And you mentioned something about posting that sounds a little bit more like social. So how much, you mentioned SEO, but how much of this bleeds into sort of the product listing area, the inventory, and the social areas as well? Could you go into that in a little more detail for us? Really good question. So so going into more detail, first, first of all, like one of the most important elements in, in e- any business listing, but I'm talking specifically maybe Google, because again, just to give you a high level here of why Google is the interesting focus for us is that if you look at any business, most of the views comes from the Google listing. So that's where you n- really need to bring your A game. But again, going into your question and not not sort of sidetracking that. So the pictures, it's really important that you have it according to Google's guidelines, high quality pictures if a client's come in and wants to get to know your, your business. Then the second part is the reviews, actually having a good way to manage that. I mean, a normal, small, local restaurant in New York, I'd argue mm-hmm. they have a thousands of views in their profiles. And that's one of the best places to actually be close to your customer. So mm-hmm. having a proper review management set up there, everything from like having the right templates to answer them, but even having notifications when you get a really bad review, like those especially, let's say when you get a one-star review, you want to get noticed like in within the minute to actually be able to do something about it. But then, as you said, basic information, opening hours, address, phone number as well, simple stuff. But let's say you have the opening hour, you know, wrong for one hour in Google. It's, I mean, it's a lot of missed revenue for sure. Mm-hmm. So there's there's really a clear customer impact as well. Then continuing on the features, like, as you said, posting a bit of more as a social element into the product, but there needs to be done systematically to maximize the local SEO and the organic reach for sure. Uh, and then other small details like attributes in the profile, what kind of company you are, and that as well relates to how people search. For example, the most classic one that Google is using in their narrative as well is the near me search. So again, right. the most classic lunch near me, for example. And again, like if you're a, let's say a marketing manager, again, we can jump deep deeper into this at some point, but again, you need to be educated as well in this field and, and it's ever changing. So we help with that as well. Thanks for listening. To hear the complete interview, subscribe at architecture.tv.